I think the best one I can say to anyone is never copy anybody else you see. So many people these days are watching YouTube and we're looking up to, of course, there's some incredible work on there. But if you've copied somebody else, you'll never ever be yourself. And those people got to where they are because they were themselves. So that's why I say find out what you do best and work on that because that's what's going to make you special and stand out is in this industry. There's a lot of people that can turn. There's a lot of people that can jump. You know, what's, what's going to make you different is what's coming from in here. That's what I tell a lot of students. That's one. <laughs> Two. I'd say you've got to love yourself. I know it's really hard to do as a ballet dancer. We look in the mirror probably 16 hours a day sometimes, you know, at home, here, and we are trained to take ourselves apart. We're trained to, to try and make ourselves a better dancer, a better person. And sometimes looking at yourself for that long can actually teach you to only be negative with what you see. And so you have to be able to sift out the negative sometimes and focus on what you do like about yourself. And remember that when you're out there. Remember why you love dancing. Because as you get on, you're only going to get tougher on yourself. So you have to always keep a very balanced mind as to why you dance. And three, <laughs> listen to your body. Listen to your body because when you push yourself to the extremes that ballet can push you, you can forget sometimes that everybody needs a break and everybody's got a breaking point. And I think the best people I've seen have a great career in, in dance. Um, they're the ones that, that know how far they can push before something's going to break. Some people are really strong and they know that and they'll push all to the end. Some people might have a tendency to get injured, so they have to know how much is enough for today and I'll push a bit harder tomorrow. You know, that, that's a really big one because when you're young, you can really hurt yourself because you just want to get your leg to this height and you just want to get that jump up there, you know, and you can just keep bashing away at your body and that will come back to you later. So how you treat yourself now is how you're going to, what you're going to reap later on. You reap what you sow, as they say. But, um, you know, for boys, definitely soft landings. Think about going through your feet on the way down because they're your bones. And if you can hear a crash, something's taking that abuse and that could be your bones. And it will come back to you later. So, yeah, listen to your body and know your body. Know what it likes. 